If you love elevated lounge, perhaps elevated casual style outfits, you are definitely in luck with this video. I have 10 new outfits for you that I am excited to get into today, and they are all featuring the brand Halara. Let's go. Before we get into the first outfit, I do want to thank Halara for partnering with me on today's video. They did give me a discount code for you guys, so I am going to put that right here on the screen so you can use that at checkout. As most of you know, if you are not new here, I have worked with Halara a few times in the past and I actually really love working with them. Their aesthetic is kind of exactly my aesthetic and so much so that they are definitely looking to kind of break out of this idea that they're just an athleisure or just sort of a fitness leaning style brand. And that's actually perfect because if you've seen my other Halara videos, if you haven't, I will definitely link them below. But that's exactly what I do with all the Halara clothing. I take it and I kind of put my little gen spin on it and they really essentially turn into like fun casual style outfits that you would love to wear on the weekend or what I would call more like an elevated lounge. That is perfect for me. That's exactly what we're doing in this video. And let's get in to the first outfit. Thank you once again to Halara for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get into the first outfit. I have to say host Jen got her hair done tonight, which is why outfit Jen looks different than host Jen. Okay. <laughs> this first outfit was very practical for me, meaning I literally wore it to, my husband has kind of like a family farm situation, farmhouse. So let's go over what I wore for my very practical real life outfit. I love these pants. They are definitely one of my favorites from this whole haul. As you can see, I mean, they're just, they're very comfortable. They're sort of like a woven style. And I really like the bottom. So the bottom, we've got this sort of tulip style hem. They are a crop. I know that's not for everybody. And then there is a little bit of a seam there kind of separating them. I'd call them a, maybe like a slim wide leg is a good way to describe it. These pants are a 10 out of 10 for me for sure. I am wearing my true size extra large in these. So I always like to give you guys the full name of the pants here. So these are the high-waisted elastic waist side pocket crossover hem solid waffle straight leg casual pants. So I think I said about the texture earlier. I paused there for a second and yeah, waffle, duh Jen, they're waffle. That's very obvious now that I'm reading this. They are very stretchy in honestly the perfect way. It looks like they do come in four different colors. They are a bit high waist, I would say. I think that is true. So for me here, I stopped styled them with green, more like an olive green, because I had this really nice kind of slouchy duster style cardigan, like really cozy cardigan that I wanted to pair it with, which was also green. And so you kind of have the two colors go in there. And then because like I told you, this was a very practical outfit for me. When we were traveling that day, it was very rainy. So I decided to go with my Uggs, which were clear. And I wore an olive colored sock underneath the clear Ugg so that the shoes sort of looked like an olive color. And I feel like I really brought it together with my uh, bag strap. You guys might remember I hauled that from a TJ Maxx haul, I believe, uh, in the past. And then I wanted to bring it together with a couple of bracelets that also had a little bit of pink in it because you guys know I don't like to have kind of a color standing out on its own typically. So that's why I brought a little bit of the pink in with the jewelry. I just stacked some necklaces, of course, and I thought doing kind of a bigger blue blingy style hoop just really gave it an elevation that it otherwise might not have had. You know, with this whole concept for me with elevated lounge, I just feel like it really can be accessorized to the max, to the hills. Um, and I think that really makes all the difference in terms of having it actually truly feel elevated and like you wouldn't necessarily just wear this to lounge, but you could because it's so comfortable, but you also look kind of cute. That's the idea. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely love the pants in this look. And here is a perfect example of, you know, Halara is not just for athleisure or kind of athletic sporty vibes. Corporate Jen would not have any if, ands, or big butts about wearing this into my corporate job. I would wear these to work. I'd take these on a business trip. I mean, these are absolutely perfect, but they're also so comfortable. So let me give you the actual name of them. So they're the high-waisted 
twisted, plicated. I don't even know that word. A side pocket, wide leg, waffle, casual pants. This is the year of Googling for me for my channel. We're going to look up this word. I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't know what it means. So we're going to do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So it means having an arranged parallel folds or ridges. Okay. I guess. I don't know. So these come in a ton of different colors and they do come in regular petite and tall, which I love. I know that I have a lot of tall friends here. Hello, my tall friends who watch this channel. I used to be tall. No, I'm just joking. I used to be short, tall, five foot seven, but I'm already shrinking. I'm now five foot six. I can't get over it. Can you tell that I can't get over it? Cause I feel like I used to be like short, tallish and now I just feel medium. That's okay. I'm wearing these in a size extra large. If I forget to say, I'm pretty much wearing everything in a size extra large, which is my true size. But these also do come in a one X through three X, which is fantastic. I love this kind of stormy, moody blue color. I think it is so cool that I feel like they were able to take even a waffle style pan. And I feel like anytime you do think of waffle, you might might think of a little bit more casual. I think these are a totally appropriate dress style pant and I'm I'm just obsessed with them. I mean, I really, I really like them. I would order them in more colors for sure. They are hide waist, hide, hide weight. They're hide waisted. I bet you don't have any pants that are hide waisted. Uh, so you probably want to pick these up. I do like that they have belt loops, which obviously makes them great for corporate Jen or corporate you or anyone else that wants to, you know, dress them up a little bit. That's actually what I did do here. And it's kind of cool because it gives the vibe of having a zipper, but there's not a zipper there. And I think it does a pretty dang good. What do I say in the past? Like it fakes its way till it makes it as a dress pant. I feel like that's what I've often said in the past. It's stretchy. They're fantastic. Let's talk about the outfit. Here's what I love about this outfit. It's extremely basic, right? Like, so we've got plain pants and a plain shirt. However, I think pairing them with this kind of edgier purse and then the very ever so popular, the shoes of the season, if you will, Adidas Sambas. I just think it kind of makes it. And then I added some accessories I wanted to kind of bring in and play on a lot of the fact that the pants were more that blue slate gray. So I brought in a lot of gray accessories here. I really did just have the accessories here kind of match everything else that was going on. So we've got gray, we've got black and it's perfect. And obviously I went with a black skinny belt. I think even going with a black skinny belt really kind of also made it because it just gives that little bit more elevation to the whole look. I stole this from all the Gen Z, you know, they're, they've made it a little bit more trendy to do more of a workwear trouser with kind of a casual look, perhaps a graphic tee, whatever, and sneakers. And that's really not something that I have done. And I've been really liking it. I find dress pants to be extraordinarily comfortable. I don't know if that's just because corporate Gen was forced to wear dress pants my whole corporate life. So I'm making the best of it, you know, but I, I honestly, I think in a lot of cases, they're more comfortable than jeans. So I just really don't mind it. And I'm kind of loving this idea of incorporating workwear style pants into my er day life that is not in my corporate life. So I'm, I'm here for it. Oh, hey, pardon the interruption. It's just me, host Jen here. I just wanted to welcome you in to the channel if you happen to be new here. And if you are not new, then welcome back. My channel is all about making you feel like your most confident self through style and fashion. We cook a lot of looks, cooking them looks on this channel. That's what we do here. Affordable outfit creation. That is what my channel is all about here. So if you are interested in getting lots of affordable outfit inspo from someone who has multiple styles disorder, then please do consider subscribing and subscribe if you're awesome. Subscribe if you want to be awesome. We would love to have you in our little awesome community over here on this corner of the interweb. I do always like to warn folks that I am a little bit, a little bit goofy. It just happens, you know, sometimes it's worse than others. If you are a regular on my channel, then you know that I always save my favorite outfit until the end. So hang all the way till the end if you'd like to see my favorite outfit. If you didn't know that I do that, that's kind of always fun. And I always love to hear what your favorite outfit is down below in the comment section. And if you are looking for the links, I do always have everything listed and linked by number. All of the Halara items are actually going to be listed first first in the description box. And then under 
underneath those Halara items, I will link all of the outfits as well, along with the Halara item, if that makes sense. <laughs> so definitely check for those down in the description box. If you don't know how to get to the description box, just click the title of the video, which then opens up a box and then you can click more and then you will have access to all of the links. I will also put all of the links in a pinned comment as well. And if you do decide to use my links, please know how much I absolutely appreciate you for doing so. That is a way to support me and my channel and I can never thank you enough. Let's keep going with the video. Who these, do you see these? You're gonna see me walking down the street in, in these guys right here. So these are the Cloudful Shine Fabric High-Waisted Wide Leg Metallic Foil Print Stretchy Party Faux Leather Pants. I have a lot of thoughts on these. First of all, they're very comfortable. Of course they are because they are the good fabric. I know I keep saying that. Um, even this shiny fabric, like it, it feels still like you're wearing a lounge pant. I wanted to point out that I love that these are sort of a, they call them a black silver actually, shiny black silver. So they sort of come off as gunmetal with all the silver party pants that are always happening every year. I kind of love that these are a little bit different in that they are gunmetal and they show up that way. So I definitely could stand to be wearing these in a bigger size. So again, I'm wearing them in an XL, which has, you know, it says it's a size 16. I typically am a size 16. So I feel like though I could be in an XXL or a one X or, you know, if they had plus size is in this one and yeah, they don't. So it is what it is. I made it work, but I think pairing it with a longer jacket like I have here, this kind of like tuxedo style jacket, I think that that kind of helped hide some of the drop off where you really see it is in my legs. Like these pants in no way are tight on my waist, uncomfortable. Like, yes, they're fitted on my thigh, but again, not uncomfortable. It's more just how they look. So anything that I'm even saying today in this entire video about, oh, this is is a little bit tight. It's not really because any of it feels tight or feels uncomfortable because all their stuff is very comfortable. It's more just it doesn't look the best, right? If it's too tight. I feel like I hit it okay in this one and I really like the teal accents. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think about the teal accents here. I originally was gonna do green and I decided to do the teal and I really like how that turned out. So I of course wanted to play on some of the silvers. I did all silver accessories. I feel like that particularly really does make sense here. Not that gold would look bad, but I feel like if you're going to do gold accessories, you would really want to make like a punchy statement about it versus just like, oh, I'm wearing a gold necklace. It'd be like, no, like I'm wearing gold and it is contrasting with my gunmetal color. You know what I mean? I feel like you'd really want to make a statement about it. I overall still really like how this look turned out. I feel like it would be really good for the holidays and just need the pants to be a little bigger or maybe my thighs to be less thundery. I don't know. You know, either one would work. We'll take either one, but still love them. Still love them. And really, I can't not recommend anything in this video. Um, truly, I'm excited. And I hope I continue to work with Halara because I love the stuff and I'm glad that you guys seem to really like it too. And bring me all the colored pants. I want all the colored pants. <laughs> So I really wanted to try the very popular and that been around for a minute harem pants. And these are also a waffle style. So we have the ribbed, never mind, they're ribbed, they're not waffle, sorry. Get it together, Jen. Ribbed, high waisted, plicated plicated multiple pockets, solid casual harem pants. And they do come in about seven colors. It looks like I'm wearing them in a size extra large. They do come in an extra small through a three X and they also do come in petite as well, which is really, really cool. I like that they come in the different size lengths. I feel like I need to clear the air on this one because I just got roasted for this outfit on Instagram. I mean, there's a lot of people that were positive. Don't get me wrong. But as you guys know, on this channel, what do I do? I talk a lot about how to look your best, how to this, how to that, you know, for my body type, which is very much a curvy pair. And I had said, hey, I wanted to try the harm pants. I know they're not going to be the most flattering on me, but here's how I would make them more flattering. <laughs> and I think sometimes when people are used to me always saying about like, wear it this way because it's going to be flattering. I think people are almost surprised maybe when I wear something that is less flattering. And like, even I know it's less flattering, but at the end of the 
day, I just have to say, it's like sometimes you just want to wear what you want to wear. You know what I mean? I really wanted to try these pants. I literally picked them out of the website knowing that they were not going to flatter me as much as some other pants that I could have picked out. However, I was really excited to try them and I was trying to give tips on how I would style them so that they were at least more flattering. You know what I mean? And I honestly really love this outfit. I really do. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, but I do like it. So obviously the pants are black. Like I said, they do come in a lot of different colors. I wanted to pair them with more of a fitted shirt because obviously the pants are a little bit more like wide leg-ish and they've got the interesting bottom going on there, of course, and it's cropped. So I wanted to pair them with something that was going to balance that a little bit and be tighter. I love this blue color. It's actually a very similar color to, I believe it was the second outfit that we saw earlier. So what I did with this is I wanted to put it with my sparkle boots. I thought that would be kind of fun. It's a nice play on the blue shirt. And normally when I wear my repeat style <laughs> sparkle boots, you guys often see them where I kind of wear them tied cool girl style. And I feel like they're usually kind of open a little bit. But what I wanted to do here, because I know that I wanted to bring some slimming in of my ankle, I either wanted to have my ankle out and showing because I do have somewhat slender ankles, at least for my size person, as I always like to say, or I wanted to make sure my boot was going to be more ankle hugging. So that's what I did here. So I kind of like retied them so that they were more ankle hugging so that like even though we kind of go wide on the pants where I'm the most widest, which is why they're not as flattering as they could be, it kind of brings it back. So it's like fitted, wide, wide fitted, if you will. And, you know, it at least brings that balance. And honestly, you guys, I, I love these pants and I would wear them again. Great quality. They do run true to size. I just think, you know, they're obviously not going to be for everybody. The harem style is not going to be for everybody. Stay tuned because I have another one coming up. Oh boy. But I really like them. And I thought pairing them with this silver bag just really played on the whole cool toned look that we have going on here really for the whole thing. And in terms of jewelry, I just kind of kept it simple. I wanted to make sure to bring the black back in, which is why I did a black necklace. And I like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, do you like harem pants? Um, and you guys might remember this bag from when I hauled it from Ross, TJ Maxx, but I thought it went perfectly with this, especially with that color shirt. So I love this look and I don't care what Instagram says. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Next up, we've got the high-waisted button, multiple pocket, straight leg casual pants. The good news is I know what every single word means in this title description of these pants. So I feel like I'm winning at life, hashtag winning. So these come in, I actually counted this one, 15 different colors, which is freaking fantastic. One of the things I'm obsessed with about Halara and you guys like this will not even come as a surprise to you. I'll let you guess what is one of my favorite things to wear. I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll just give it like do, 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 do. Colored pants. Colored pants. We all know how much I love colored pants. It's like how often do I wear a plain top with colored pants versus like a cute top and jeans. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the opposite, if you will. And I always say, and I've said this before, if you are not new here, I'm sorry, I'm going to just say it one more time. I feel like we really limit ourselves if you are only wearing black pants or blue jeans or kind of in that general color story on the bottom because so let's say you're even an adventurous person, right? And you're like willing to wear any color shirt. You'll wear the whole spectrum, right? You're totally fine with that. You're not somebody that is only going to wear black or something. So then think about all of those things with black leggings or black joggers. But think about if you would actually pair those with colored bottoms in some capacity. The pairing opportunity just really opens up. I know wearing colored pants are not for everybody. I do get it. But if it's something that you have not really tried in the past, I would consider branching out just because you will have so many more outfit options for you. So I have a couple things to say about these pants from in terms of the Halara pants and everything that I hauled. These were not a miss for me. I do like them. I absolutely do like them. I just feel like they're not in like my top 50%, if you will, of the haul. And part of that is just because the style and that's, you know, really kind of my fault. They're more of kind of a straight flare leg is what I would call them. They're made with like the amazing Halara fabric. I don't know what they do to this fabric, but I'm telling you it shows cellulite less. I've actually had people ask me like, Jen, what shapewear are you wearing underneath so-and-so? And they'll mention an outfit that's featuring the Halara pants. I was like, I'm not wearing shapewear under these. Like it's the fabric. Like it is the Halara fabric. It's just magic. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's the fabric though, I'm telling you. So one of the reasons 
why I think this these aren't quite as flattering as they could be is they do really lend itself to wearing something that is either tucked in or you can see the front of your, you know, kind of um, waist and lower hip area more because a couple reasons. We've got the faux buttons there. They are faux buttons, by the way. But we got like the faux button fly there as well as the front pocket. So of course you could just wear whatever you want and cover all of those up. But I did want to showcase them a little bit more. However, I mean, I have a belly, so it showed. <laughs> One of the things I always say too, it's like, oh, but it showed my belly. It's like, but I have a stomach, like it's there. Did I feel as confident in these as some of the other ones? I'd say no. And part of that's because, you know, my stomach was showing a little bit more. So perhaps with these, I might be able to go up a size. I am wearing them in a size extra large and they do come in an extra small through a 3X and they come in regular petite and tall. I'm wearing the size regular at five foot six. So I think I could go up a size. That's an option for me. But honestly, like again, when I got these pants, I knew that I was going to kind of showcase the front like that. So I'm not mad about it. It is kind of what it is. I went with more of a monochromatic look here. Who loves green and pink together? Me, me, definitely me. Let me know if you love it. I kind of cropped the sweatshirt I was wearing and I just went with a jacket and a bag that matched kind of like a moody, dusty, light pink is what I would call it. And then I went with my Adidas campus sneakers that I just got that were a similar color. Um, one thing I know that we've all discovered together was how much greens look good together like just slap on any green and I feel like it generally goes I mean with with other greens so this one is I'd say it's it's a monochromatic look of very similar greens you know versus a little bit of more of a step variation but I mean I love it and I think for me adding in the jacket kind of helped hide my belly a little bit and I still love this look like even though I'm feeling self-conscious about my belly I, I still love it and I think um, if I ordered these pants again I would just go one size up probably I forgot to touch on the bandana or the little headband. It's kind of a faux, it's kind of a faux bandana. It actually is just a headband. And I don't know, I thought this was kind of a cutesy, preppy, loungy look. And I feel like that kind of just all, not that bandanas are preppy in any way, but I think wearing headbands are kind of a preppier vibe. So I just felt like it kind of went in with like the Malibu tennis club because I've definitely been to Malibu and play tennis regularly. Okay. <laughs> We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel and I can never thank you enough. All right, we've got the Halara Magic jeans. I know we've talked about them before, so we're gonna talk about them again. These are the Halara Magic mid-rise button pocket stretchy knit casual slight flare jeans. Slight flare is a really good way to describe them actually because I feel like they are a little bit more than a boot cut. I think I was actually gonna describe them between a boot cut and a flare, so. I don't even have to do that. Halara did it for me. So awesome. They do come in three different colors. So I'm wearing them in the washed denim black and they also come in regular black and they also come in an indigo. They come in a size extra small through a 4X. And what is so great about these is they are just so comfortable. They are literally so comfortable. They're so stretchy. These are the type of jeans that I can definitely wear and sit at my desk all day for corporate gen job. And it doesn't bother me, you know, where other jeans are going to kind of dig into you. I would call them sort of a lounge style jean, even though they don't look like it. Yeah. So as you can see, these even have pockets. I have to say, I absolutely love how these looked with loafers. If you are looking for loafer outfit ideas, I know some people have said like they're not really sure what to wear loafers with. I think this kind of a, a boot cutty flare pan is a really, really great option. I really like the pairing here because I've got it with more of a floral, nicer style sweater, if you will, but then you kind of edge it up with a black jean as well as lug loafers. Like loafers are kind of can be dressy, but when you add a silver chain to them and make them a lug loafer, they're a little bit more not. And I feel like my sunglasses are a little bit more edgy. They're kind of that retro cool girl vibe. And then the bum bag is the bum bag has silver hardware. So I went with silver jewelry. I don't always do that, but that's what I did here. And I thought wearing my scrunchie, which I know is not a new concept. Like I was around during, was that the nineties, I guess. So I know that's like not a new concept or anything. It's more just, I was not wearing a scrunchie that day at all. My hair was already up, but I decided to kind of put it there and it's actually a sleep scrunchie, very oversized scrunchie, but I wanted to bring more black to my arm to kind of balance the black jeans. And I don't know, I just kind of like how that looked. And I specifically wore it kind of like as a bracelet, whatever, that's fine. I thought it was cute. <laughs> 
so yeah, I can't recommend the magic jeans enough. I'm going to show you guys another uh, pair of magic jeans as well and an outfit to go with it later here, but I love them. Let me know if you've tried them down in the comments. I'll be super curious to know. All right, as promised, we have our second pair of Halara magic jeans in this video. So wearing these in black. We all know I love me a good pair of black jeans. We all know. These are the Halara Magic High Waisted Multiple Pockets Wide Leg Loose Stretchy Work Jeans. I don't know what work jeans means. I would love to know. I'm not sure. They're just as great as the last pair in terms of the comfortability. These are more of a pull on style. They do have real pockets, but the zipper is a faux zipper. They're super stretchy, just like the last pair. And they're also more of a wide leg. The one thing that I would change with these jeans is they were a little bit short for me. Again, I'm five foot six. They were weren't too short, but I sort of felt like I needed to wear a flat pair of shoes. And it's funny because I know you guys are used to me saying that I love crop pants and this and that. But the reality is there is a level of croppedness that I'm looking for. So meaning like if it's a pant like this that I wore a little bit too tall of a shoe with and they did look more like, you know, high water kind of situation territory. I don't really love that. I like when it's a little bit more of an intentional look looking crop. And there's a fine line there for sure. Um, I'm wearing these in an extra large. They come in an extra small through an extra large. They come in three different colors. They don't come in plus size, unfortunately, and they don't come in lengths, which is unfortunate for me because I definitely would have gotten the taller ones had I known. Well, if they came in taller. They're great. Everything's fantastic about them. I absolutely love this outfit I put together. I want to hear what you guys think about it. When I did feature this one on Instagram, it, w it definitely was a hit. So I have been requested to feature, you know, at least more more often when I can kind of all black outfits, I think because a lot of people do prefer to wear all black. And I just really like how this one came together. It's a very like a lot of people said kind of a witchy vibe on Instagram. And I, I can't argue with that really. But I like how it came together from the standpoint of the kimono is black lace. So that's kind of a like a very feminine style. This thing's actually a swim cover up. But then you've got kind of the little retro edgier glasses, combat boots, as well as my my bag is, you know, it has metal fringe and metal studs and things like that on there. So I just, I love the balance. I mean, it's very like a juxtaposition situation happening and I love it. I absolutely love it. And black jeans are always a little bit edgy. So I'd say overall this outfit, it's a little bit of an edgier outfit with some feminine touches dribbled in, if you will. Like even my hair, I mean, your hair is always part of your outfit. I've said that a million times. My hair has a very feminine, whimsical style vibe to it. It's not an edgy vibe. So I just love the balance. Next up, we have a kind of a fun, the periwinkle pants. So these are called the mid rise back pocket, ruffle, flowy, wide leg, casual pants. They come in five different colors, actually really fun colors. Um, definitely click the link and see the colors on this one. This was a very boho style look. Somebody in one of my recent videos asked for more boho style looks. So I'm here delivering on the boho. Here we go. I need your help with this one though, you guys. I'll tell you then, but let's talk about the pants first. So these pants are delightfully wide leg flare style, which I particularly really like. I really wish these pants were longer. I'm wearing them in a size extra large. I would argue that they're definitely tight. I could probably stand to go up a size. However, there is not a size larger than the size that I'm wearing. And there's also not a longer length than what I'm wearing. So do note that I felt like I needed to wear them with very flat shoes and I'll get into the shoes in a second. I think the color was super fun. And so I paired it down here with kind of like cream style accessories. It's hard to tell too. My shirt or my top is like a barely pink. And I thought the crochet bag really just kind of brought it home because it had kind of all the colors in there along with the color of the pant, I believe. And I have to talk to you guys about these shoes. So I did not know what shoes to wear with these. I went round and round. I needed a color that made sense, right? So that's why they're like a dusty pink, which the top, it's kind of of hard to tell, but it's like a barely pink. I felt like all the shoes that I had either had height to them and I felt like I couldn't wear them or were more of a sandal and it's kind of getting later in the fall and I didn't really want to wear a sandal. So what shoes do I wear with these? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I didn't know if sneakers would be good. I kind of felt like they wouldn't. So I was at a loss. I was at a loss on what to wear with these. I wanted to make sure that I paired that kind of periwinkle color down secondary 
secondarily with another at least a blue style color, which is why I brought in the blue beads. Of course, there was also blue in the bag. So yeah, I mean, I like the way this look turned out, except I <laughs> the shoes were just a hideous choice on my part. And I wish that the pants ran a little bit differently or at least came in bigger sizing. So it is what it is, but still a fun boho look for you guys. <laughs> I have another repeat purchase <laughs> that I have featured in the past. So these overalls, high-waisted, removable and adjustable strap back pocket overall straight leg casual pants. So they come in pink, black, and green. I have already featured them in green, you may remember. So I'm actually wearing them different than I wore them last time. Last time in the green, I did wear them as overalls, but they can be worn three different ways. This way is the second way that they can be worn them. So they can be worn with like the overall straps kind of down at your waist. And what's actually cool about these pants is they're sort of built for that. Meaning, you know how if you would take a normal jean overall and just kind of don't do the bib part, it would just kind of hang there and it wouldn't necessarily be doing it much of anything other than kind of hanging there. This, there's actually a waist, a separate waist yeah. built into them, which is actually really cool. So like when you see the top of them like this, you know, you're able to kind of see that seam there, of course. But when you decide to wear them like that, this is what I'm talking about. Like, doesn't this look like a normal pair of pants? Now, if you pull them up, like, yes, you do see that seam, but I do think it's cool that they actually have that in there. And it also, when they are all the way up, it will cinch your waist a little bit too and give you a little bit of shape, which I know sometimes with overalls, it's kind of hard to find your shape in an overall because they can tend to just make you lose your shape. I feel like I could stand to wear these in a bigger size. However, they do not come in a bigger size. They come in an extra small through an extra large and I am wearing them in an extra large. So that's a little bit of a bummer. They're not terrible, like in terms of the size, but they could stand to be a little bit looser on me. So I brought in a floral kind of, this is actually a men's t-shirt. And I thought that that paired nicely. It, it had the same style pink in it. And then this brought a little bit of blue and green. So then I wanted to pare down my jewelry to also be blue and green. And then I had pink shoes that kind of matched the pink overalls, which I thought was chef's kiss and super fun. All right. I told you, I told you that similar pants were going to be coming up. So these are the mid-rise multiple pockets draped wide leg casual pants. I know there's going to be a lot of opinions on these. I know they're not for everybody. I know y'all are probably going to say, Jen, they don't even look good on you. But I've been seeing these drape style pants everywhere. And again, this is one of those things. I see them. I like them. I'm like, I want to try it. Let me try it. Let me try to figure out how to make it look aight for my body type. You know what I mean? The fabric on these is absolutely glorious. The the fit on them is absolutely glorious. I'm wearing them in a size extra large and they do come up to a size 3X. They come in regular and they also come in petite. Now these, given what they were and given that they just have the propensity to make me look just even bigger because they're, they're drapey and flowy and wide in all the areas that I'm drapey and flowy and wide. <laughs> So to combat that, I am wearing shapewear with these. If I was just wearing them at home, of course I would not be wearing shapewear with these. But when you take pictures and you put them on the interwebs for people to look at, you know, sometimes you want to kind of at least feel as best as you can, especially when you're wearing something that you know is like not your typical, like, oh, this is going to flatter me so well. <laughs> I have to say, I just, I do love them and they're super comfortable. I know they're not going to be for everybody. Uh, they do come in five different colors and I really liked how high-waisted they were. I felt like the fabric was super flattering given what the pant was. And I, I do really like it. Let's talk about the outfit. So similar to the last pair, I really wanted to obviously wear more of a fitted top to kind of balance the, the bigness going on down here. And I also wore kind of a little bit of a preppier style combat boot, if you will. These ended up actually going much longer on me than the other ones. So even though I was kind of going for that vibe, I don't know that it was necessarily needed because I feel like most of my ankle ended up being covered anyway. And then I wanted to jazz this up with a little bit of turquoise jewelry just to make it kind of fun. So I have that in my bracelet, which is from Victoria Emerson and my beaded necklace, which is from Walmart. And then I really actually did love the way that the bag ended up looking on this. It's kind of a very oversized bum bag and I love it. I feel like that's all that matters. I know it's not 
for everybody, but I love it. I love this look. I love these pants. I highly recommend them. Um, you know, I know they're not going to work for everyone, but if you think that they could work for you, I highly recommend them. I love them and they're great because they're from Alara. Because all of Alara's pants are fantastic, which is why I keep working with them. I love their stuff. I love their stuff. <laughs> So we've reached my favorite look. Uh, so these pants are called Mid-Rise Elastic Waistband Drawstring Side Pocket Palazzo Flowy Wide Leg Casual Pants. So this was a close call for my favorite because as you've seen throughout the video, I'm like, oh, I love this one so much. I love this one so much. It was honestly hard to pick. So these were, I don't know, perhaps they were a cheat. I don't know. This is my second pair of these pants. You may remember in my prior, I think it was my most previous Halara video that I featured these pants in like a bubblegum pink. They were astounding, if I do say so myself. I love them and they're still available in that color. So I wore those in a size extra large and I found them to be a little bit big, to run a little bit big. So I actually wanted to take a gamble and order these in a size large to see if I liked them better. To be fair, I'm probably somewhere in between like an extra large minus or a large plus. I think these are actually the only pants that I thought weren't true to size. Um, I think I actually said earlier that I got everything in an extra large. These are the exception. And I'm wearing them in the color maple syrup. They come in a good, I don't know, 10, 12 colors there, which is perfect. The fabric is just so nice. There's something about Halara's fabric. I continue to tell people, and I'm excited that a lot of you guys have ordered stuff. You've told me how much you like the brand, you like the pants, you agree about the fabric. It's just superior. And I love that these are giving sort of a cargo style vibe of a pant with also not being overly cargo. So if you're someone who kind of wants to dip their toe into the cargo pant trend, but you're kind of like, I don't want to really do it up with all those pockets. This kind of lends itself to that, I would say. But the real reason why I picked this as my favorite is I really just like the color pairing of all this. I feel like it's a bit unexpected and I can explain why. If you're new here, this is what we like to do. It's like it's like outfit analysis. This is honestly one of my favorite things to do. I feel I feel like this is sort of when I do my outfit videos like this, let me know if you guys agree with this. I feel like it's almost like an outfit podcast. Like I like to put look back at my looks that I've been putting together for a couple weeks for you guys, because that's usually how long it takes to film all of all of my looks. And then I sit down and I do this style of video and I talk about the looks and I analyze them and I tell you why it looks good or bad on my body, what I did in terms of the styling. And I just I don't know, I just absolutely love that. It's like my favorite thing to do on the channel. So this color pairing, I feel like is a bit unexpected expected and here is why. So the pants are very much like a rust orangey red style color. They have a warm undertone. The duster cardigan obviously has a very cool undertone. It's a very cool undertone gray. Gray can be warm undertone, but this is a cool undertone. So like same as my hair. My hair is a very cool tone color. You know, I even oftentimes will consider my hair as like, you know, when I say I want to pair something down secondarily, like ah, let's just throw my hair in there. My hair is kind of gray, silver, ashy, blonde, purple low light, all the things, a very cool toned. And I consider that in my outfit sometimes as well. I mean, obviously I can't change my hair color on a dime like that. Like I can change out a bag, but sometimes it goes better, you know? And I did the black to obviously pair with the gray. Sometimes the way I look at it is, so obviously I kind of introduced black here, but it is pared down secondarily in the stripes of the Adidas. One thing though, when I'm looking at pulling in colors that I like to kind of view is like, if something is almost a cousin of that color. I feel like you can just automatically bring it in. So a cousin of this gray color here is obviously black. And then it was brought in with the shoes. Now I think, you know, just bringing in this kind of like hunter style green color was just really interesting with the rust color. And then I'm actually wearing a beaded necklace. It might be a little bit hard to see, but I'm wearing a beaded necklace that kind of has both of those colors in it. So I thought that was a really fun way to kind of bring it all together. And the Adidas Sambas have a very cool tone vibe to them in, of course, the black. And then the little bit of coloring they have at the front is more of like a taupey gray. So I think that that just overall went well too. And then to make sure I brought in the green even more, I made sure to do a couple of green bracelets to kind of pare it down secondarily so it doesn't look like it's just kind of chilling out there on its own. So I just love this. It may be an interesting look from the standpoint of like, is it one of my best looks? No, but I really did like the color pairing. So let me know what you guys think of that. And I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts on it. Tell me what you would do different. Tell me what you liked about it. Just tell me, just tell me. 
There we have it. You've seen all the good Halara outfit inspo. You've seen my favorite look, so don't forget to let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite look. And if you were digging this video, I'm actually gonna link up here at the end of this video to my other Halara content that I have done so that you can continue watching. Thank you once again to Halara for sponsoring today's video, as well as a big thank you to you guys in my community. It's because of your love, your support, you're watching my videos, you're using my links that I am able to partner with brands that I do love like Halara. So huge thank you to you guys. And if you made it all the way till the end of this video, I also owe you a huge thanks. I'm just full of thanks right now. <laughs> I appreciate you guys uh, because that really does help out me and my channel when you watch all the way to the bitter end. <laughs> and if you are here, do please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of hide wasted. Don't forget to subscribe if you are awesome and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every single time I've been in the kitchen cooking them looks and I will see you in the next one. Bye!